Right then, just wanted to show you this before we get started. We can't do anything else with the fire now because we're waiting some, for some stuff to arrive. So I thought we'd crack on with the painting. As you can see, the tunnel bands, I think they're called, look very nice. So now we're going to do the stern area. So we've taken off some of the covers and we're just waiting, look at that. Of course it's looking cloudy when it's supposed to be a nice day. So Chris has just done a little bit of prep work and then I think the plan is to just paint the floor. We want to do this but we can't decide whether to stick with red or change it to blue and then we've got to do the lockers but we're going to do I think just the floor and then around here which obviously means we won't be able to walk on it for a bit so let me just show you so it's quite handy being here on the uh, Chris get out of the way um, quite handy being in on this hard standing um, because it means we've got better access to the boat and you're not, you're not getting mud and all that all over you um, we can get in and out of the of the bow as long as we don't slip into the hole that shall never be named again I don't think it was named in the first place but anyway I'm going to clip some of that back actually today so that people can see the hole I don't know if maybe that piece of wood was went in there to stop idiots falling in but you know right on with the jobs Right, so we've cleaned all that up. I don't know if you can see the red spots, put a bit of primer on. So we've got to wait for that to dry before we can give it a coat of paint. And while that's drying, we're going to tackle the fire. But I'll do that on a separate video because I want to try and show you the whole thing from start to finish. Right. Right then. First coat has gone on and we've obviously just had the um, standard rain shower that you get as soon as the paintbrush comes out so that's gone on really well a little chuff with that so it's sort of all round the edge obviously we've not done the engine hatch door thingies yet but first coat very chuffed it's more really, I mean it's nice for it to look aesthetically pleasing but it's more about you know the rust protection and all that kind of stuff really. Let's have a little bit of a interlude as well because over there I've got um, Kingfisher feeding, massive fish it had which should be on one of my YouTube shorts by now. I'll try and put it on this after this video as well if I get a chance. Right then. Onwards to doing some varnishing. Don't know if you can see, just a finger into there to show you, but there's a kingfisher on that boat over there. It's just about to go in the water. Can't get uh, zoom in any more than that. Can you see? It's just gone in fishing. Oh my god, that's so cool. There it goes, onto there, can you see it? I think it's zoomed in it, isn't it? Right, well my trainee hasn't been doing his job very well because he's not taken a video of this before he started. So this is the bow area. We're planning to remove these lockers because the lids are so heavy on her, it's just a nightmare to get off. So we're gonna get rid of them, but that's not today's job. That's another job. We've taken the cratch covers off, cratch covers. And Chris, this morning, 
<gasps> That's where I fell in. Watch out. Just getting off the boat. So Chris has prepped all of the bow lock on the other side. I can't go around there because I'll end up in the water again. So he's prepped it all, filled it as much as he can. Now he's going to paint it blue to match the rest of the boat. So like I say, I'll just be doing, not just because it's quite a lot of work, hot day. Um, but we're just going to paint the we royal we I think honestly it keeps slipping I need to get a new phone cover um got sidetracked yeah he's gonna paint the bow same color and then um at some point this will be another job to renovate this mainly just get the bow done while the weather's good right I'm gonna shut up now and carry on tidying because we've just finished fitting the fire in a few more bits to do of course, the whole boat's a mess, so uh, I'm on cleaning duties. Right, see you later. Right, first coat has gone on. It's weird, we're just walking up to it then, it looks like a different boat. I'm just going to mind all this stuff. You know what happens when I get near this bit. Oh, look. Looks great second coat tomorrow video in this just in case it falls in this you know fatal gap down there well not fatal obviously but how much you give me to push him in <laughs> sorry shouldn't I yeah. Testing a new system to see if we can get a better signal. Don't be able to get ET on this one. Ah, oh, it is. Go on, she go. Right, it's goodbye. Oh, good morning and goodbye to our lovely time at Langley Mill. I've got absolutely loads done. Don't know if I can, I'll show you the boat properly later. Well, we've painted some more. So Chris is just up there setting the lock. We're uh, filling with water and then we're just waiting for another boater because we're going to go down with them. Bless him, he's got to go all the way to the end of the arrow wash today. So I'm not sure how far Hello. we're going to go today. We're going to wait and see. It's usually quicker going down than up. And also, obviously, if, you've got, if you're with someone else, it's a bit quicker. So, right, I'm going to do the joyous thing of emptying the toilet. Fill with water and then off we go. Cruiser. We're off. Didn't get a chance to film any of that because it was a bit hectic, but it's hectic. So we'll soon as get. We're on his way. I'll see how far we get today. There's the swans. State the obvious. That's our uh, fellow boater in the distance. He set out of the lot before us so he's got a head start but I'm going to try and go down a few with him. See where we get to. It's a glorious day. Better than working eh? See you in a bit. Morning. Well, it's two locks down just an eastward lock. And I'm going to walk on to Shipley Lock, I think is the next one. Um, just had a call to say that the pound's low again um, at, I think, Pastures Lock, Gallows Lock. So it's been closed at the moment, so I'm not really sure what the state of affairs is, whether we'll be able to get through or not. 
how long the stoppage will be. So we just have to wait and see, won't we? So we're all stocked up anyway, filled with water and all that kind of stuff. We've got coffee, so you know, unless the coffee gets low, I mean, then it's emergency services, isn't it? I mean, got our priorities in life. Uh, so I'm off now, I'm gonna walk down here. Sorry, I ain't getting too close to my face, no one wants to get that close. The bath is still here, so we've had to avoid that. And on we go, we're on a nice canal walk. I'll flick you around so you can have a look. Right, the race is on. I stayed behind to uh, lock the gate. Now I'm walking to the next one. I've already passed the first boat. And now I'm sprinting. I'm not actually. Slow walk. Don't do sprinting or running. Too energetic for my liking. Now I'm going to see if I can overtake Chris. There's someone walking ahead of me though, so I might stop filming in a minute. Right, tune back in for the slowest race. Well, it's probably not the slowest race in history, to be fair. Right, see you in a bit. The real panic then when I came over the gate, I thought there's a bloody baby in there, it's a fucking doll. Let's get that out. Hi Red Ducks. I'm ready to board. to stop because we've definitely got something around the prop there's a big branch sticking up don't know if you'd be able to see it in the last video I did so just trying to get into the side now so we can have a look at least we've got some shade because today it is hot 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 right, so Chris is going in the weed hatch <laughs> See what's in there. Oh, there we go. Let's see what it is. Just a load of weed and cloth and bags and stuff all mixed together. What's that? It didn't look a lot, but it was enough to stop uh, stop the boat going very fast. Well, 
what someone told us as a trick was to, when you're cruising along, is to keep sticking the boat in reverse, and that way it can release some of it. But I think on here you've got a combination of shallow waters and lots of weed, so it's just inevitable. Because that's why you've got a weed hatch. Anyway, like I said, at least we're in the shade. Ready for some lunch. It must be lunchtime by now. Right, that's it. Back in, back cruising. Chris just turned it over and it's a mop head look. That was round the prop. Right then, here we go. I'm to set off again. Engine started. Just gonna push her out a little bit. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna be able to push her. Really need to get pushed her out a bit. Need to get a pole. We're going to get when we get to Mercia. Hello. Well, just had to go down the prop and we had a mop around the prop. No, I'm not going to start singing. God, definitely switch up. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, we cleared the weed hatch out. And now uh, we're carrying on cruising. The water level is quite low, and there definitely is the stoppage further ahead. So we're just going to keep going, see what happens. Um, I can't remember if I said on the last one that it possibly might be for a couple of days. Cause it says on CRT it's due to vandalism, but I don't know. It might take a couple of days to fix. So. We will have to see when we get. There's not much you can do about it. Just gonna roll with it. But other than oh dragonfly. Other than you know Just waving at a cyclist, she do. He's probably thinking, look at that nut at talking to herself. Anyway, it's beautiful down here. Low water and rubbish and weed despite all that it's beautiful watching all the dragonflies go around the, about the day all the fish swimming is beautiful right so we'll go I'll see you in a bit thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it um, you know the drill by now subscribe and like the vlog if you like it for anyone watching on the telly if you press the up arrow on your remote depending on what kind of remote you've got it then should give you the option to like it i discovered that like not that long ago because i used to watch all um vlogs on the telly and i couldn't find a way to like it anyway that's the way they do you do it push up press like right that's it, I'm off and um, I really must start preparing what I'm going to say instead of rambling. So I will see you next week. Bye.